Hey guys, Loop here, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Rift. Um, Rift is a free to play MMO developed by Trion Worlds, who also make Defiance and The End of Nations. Uh, Rift was first released back in 2011, and you know, at the start it was subscription based. Uh, that's when I first started to try it out, but because it was uh, low popularity and pretty buggy, uh, I got pretty bored. So pretty quickly went back to WoW. Um, since then uh, the community has grown quite a bit and um, they brought out the first expansion which is the Storm Legion in uh, November 2012. Uh, the expansion when it was released uh, raised the level cap to 60 which used to be 50. Um, they added in things called dimensions where players can uh, customise like, little corners of the, of the world. Uh, I did four new souls, uh, which is like the talent trees, um, which is one for each class. And two new continents, which made the game about three times bigger. Um, so there's quite a bit more than that, but they're the main things. Um, I've not experienced any of it myself to be honest because I've stopped playing um, so yeah the important bit about the game is they made it free to play on the 12th of June 2013 so I know I'm a little bit behind but um, I've only just got my internet back downloaded it and I'm going to get started on there um, so being cheap as I am I decided to start playing again to see what all the big fuss was about See if it's got any better from how it used to be. Uh, so I'm going to try and talk you through bit by bit as I'm going through. And show you a bit of game as I'm going. Like the creation screen. Um, just some gameplay. Maybe get into a decent guild. Do some raids and stuff like that. Um, so yeah. When I first found out Rift was free to play. I thought right. So what are, what are the restrictions going to be? You know, am I only going to be able to go on and like have a little bit of play and have a level cap or something like wow um, but there's nothing at all according to Trion there's no restrictions there's no level cap you can do all the raids you can trade you can do anything you want anything that anybody else could do in Rift before it came free to play um, there is a paid option uh, where you get a few like little extras and bonuses and things like that to help your progress quicker but nothing much and they've brought out um, an in-game store where you can buy credits uh, which is I'm guessing where they're probably going to end up getting most of their money back from um, you buy items called um, Rift Exchange Rex for short um, but I'll, I'll go through all the store and all that in another video which I'll bring out um, as soon as I understand it myself because it seems a little bit complicated at the moment uh, the subscriptions that they offer for the premium well I'd say premium content um, it's very similar to WoW um, it's 8 99 in the UK um, every month uh, you've got free month subscription and well, all the way up to a year really one month is 8 99 3 month is 23 97 6 months 41 94 and a whole year is 71 88 which isn't all that bad but you don't, you don't get all that much for, for it what do you get? you get um, fast amounts 10% increased mount speed um, Double XP, no daily XP boost, not double XP. Um, instant access to your bank. Um, bonus rep, bonus XP, uh, more of a loyalty scheme, which gets you extra stuff ev with them every now and again. Which, when you buy stuff with actual money, you get loyalty, which can get you mounts and things like that um, nothing that's 
game changing that you, you can't get through the game without um, so yeah basically the point of you starting to play Rift again because if you don't know Rift the graphics are absolutely amazing the artwork that they've done and the creatures and you know, the whole open world it's absolutely amazing it looks stunning I'll, you know compared to World of Warcraft where everything's a little bit cartoony and everything is n no realistic stuff there and Rift it's absolutely amazing you can see every item of gear you can see the rings that you're wearing the necklaces the trinkets you can see absolutely everything um, so yeah um, another thing that I really liked is I've, I've, I kind of like the gameplay from what I remember, I don't remember too much because it was like a couple of years ago now. Um, it was alright, I enjoyed the gameplay, it was a nice change. It was similar to WoW but different enough to be its own. Um, and the hybrid classes that you could have were really interesting, like you could have a healing mage and a tanking rogue and just completely mix the classes up exactly how you wanted it and I really like that. Instead of now, I'm World of War I'm going to keep comparing it to World of Warcraft because you know, it is one of the main MMOs out there and it's the one I play the most. So um, I'm going to end up keep comparing it to that. Uh, where so yeah, in World of Warcraft you end up you choose a specialization. You don't even choose your talents anymore. You choose a random. Well, every 15 levels you choose one of three abilities that don't really change much, it's just play preference. Um, they change, well when I first started playing WoW it was, you could have hybrid spec, you got a talent point, you spent it wherever you wanted. You needed so many t points in each tree to progress kind of thing and you had like the co cookie cutter specs which they wanted to get away from so they made you spend, well it ended up 60 points in one tree and then you could move on and then it ended up 30 points because we did it all and then they changed it all again and now you just get all your talents it's just here you go have some talents this is how we want you to play so kind of don't like that in wow anymore i want my hybrid specs back um so yeah i'll take you through my progress with rift and thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe uh, see more videos and be able to follow the progress properly and I'll see you next time